Hello and welcome to lesson 20. We are now finally going to start creating some basic 3D objects. Hopefully you're feeling pretty good about your 2D work. Okay, now what I'm going to teach you in this little lesson is I'm going to show you how to create solid primitives, right? Now a primitive is something that comes and I'm going to go into my perspective window by double clicking on it. Uh, a primitive is something that is a more or less a ready-made 3D object, right? And you can give these objects attributes such as radius, height, length, width, etc. Alright? Now, different types of primitives are boxes, cylinders, boxes, cylinders, spheres, ellipsoids, cones, pyramids, to which you can create numerous sides, truncated cones, you can make a truncated pyramid as well, tubes, so it's like a cylinder, only it's open, as well as a torus. All right, some folks refer to that as a donut. Okay, now, when it comes to creating these objects, there's a few different ways you can do it. Number one is up here in the solid menu. Very top half here are different ways that you can create um, the primitives. All right, you can, of course, type something in. So, for example, I could type in box and then hit enter. And if I were to follow the command line, I could really quickly create a box like that. I'm just going to delete that. I'll show you how I did that in just a moment. Don't fret. All right. The other way is to use these uh, icons here for the solid creation tool. So I'm going to click on that little triangle until I get the fly out. Whoops. And there we go. Now I've got a solid menu. And you can see I can create a box, a cylinder, a sphere, an ellipsoid paraboloid cones, truncated cones, etc, etc, etc. All right. These are all fairly simple, right? And it's really all about reading the command line, right? So, notice if I hover over this triangle here, there's a couple different ways to make boxes corner to corner, uh, create a box diagonally, create a box from three points, create a bounding box, okay? I'm just going to click on it. And again, read the command line, first corner of the base, I can either enter as point in Cartesian space or I can just go ahead in this case I'm just gonna click and then it'll say the other corner and so it's more or less just like drawing a rectangle alright and then I can click and then if we look up here at the command line height and I can drag it up or I could type in a number such as 99 and I could hit enter and there we go I have a nice tall box maybe that's a little too tall I'll just repeat that command again and a box really quickly one two three all right now I'm gonna lock my text layer here just for a second just so I don't um, snap to things anymore all right uh, the next object is a cylinder so I can click on the cylinder or I could type in cylinder of course and it'll say <coughs> it'll say base of cylinder I'm snapping to something I'm gonna disable my snaps for a second so cylinder, base of cylinder, one, two, three, and up. All right. Now a sphere. Spheres are kind of interesting. Spheres will always start from the center, so it'll say center of sphere. Do you want you to use two points, three points? How do you want to create a sphere? And again, there's lots of options, but we're going to do these fairly quickly. So I click once, and then I click a second time for the radius. You'll notice that a sphere is generally will be uh, created on the ground plane or the construction plane. We'll talk a little bit about that more, but the next thing is an ellipsoid. Ellipsoid is basically uh, just like a sphere, it's just you have three points. So center, click, drag out once, click, <coughs> drag out a second time, and there we go. Okay, a cone once for the center, once for the diameter, and once for the height. All right, a truncated cone, you get four steps. Click once for the diameter, once for the height, and then once for the diameter of the truncation. Tubes, once, twice, three times to get your wall height, and the fourth time to get a tube. 
And the last one is a torus. Pretty simple. Once, click twice, click three times. And there you go. All right, practice this.